Right, hello everyone. I'm re-recording this video. I did one on Sunday, but I'm having very bad technical problems. Um, right, super chunky journal, a complete departure from what I usually do. It's for someone, though, that wants a super decorated journal full of pretty things, and they don't want to write in it. They just want to look at it. So, vintage upholstery fabric um it's a craft x cover i absolutely should have done a hidden spine and i'm cursing myself that i didn't this rose jar was custom made for me for this journal by laney bird on ebay and i will link you her details it's in a glass orb and there's little glass stones around it she's done me several custom jars for different journals this filigree bow is an exclusive to Beady Molly's cameo shop, and I have glossy accented the flowers. The light isn't great. Um, charming fragments. I've used charming fragments one and two. My yarn ribbons um, and other fancy yarns. I get all of them from Broke Marys in New York. Um, and a lot of them are Crystal Palace yarns, which obviously you can no longer get because it's just, they've discontinued. The layered laces on the cover were inspired by Danny, who was junk journals and more. The lace spillage on the side and a lot of things to do with this chunkiness were inspired by Klimmy of Klimmy's Creations. Um, papers, co a cottage rose by Kaiser Craft. This perfume label and all of them throughout are by Arena Atelier, unless I say otherwise. Dreams Etc. from the Jane Austen. And it's got yarn ribbon on it. Um, Simply Jane, that's it. This is Fussy Cup from some embroidered tool. That's from Charming Fragments 2. See how much this needs a hidden spine. I would never make one all bunched up and chunky like this if someone wanted to write in it. Um, Wings of Whimsy, Pretty Things for You. And obviously the mason jar is Tsunami Rose, as is the pocket. Ledger Paper is from the Paper Basket, which is Katie's shop on Etsy. I wanted the look of ripped cottage wallpaper um, and that's from a napkin. Well, they're actually tissues, decorative tissues. Um, Edith Holden, coffee dyeing with salt thrown on it. The napkins are from are by Sargon. My geometric lace and a lot of the unusual trims are from On Trend Fabrics UK. And I made um, a belly band on the side. That is Artie May's My Sweet Rose. I fussy cut her from the paper I usually use, which I got the set of papers from a Russian blog. Botanical handmade cotton and silk paper. It's got like little tiny botanicals in it. These digis are Ephemera's Vintage Garden, doilies by, from Denise at a Tattered Dream. Um, I've sprayed it wedding pink. Um, that's the colour with my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. I've dyed the patterns of the Martha Stewart punch-outs onto the page with coffee and myco powders. Um, a homemade tag with my Tiffany stamp. <gasps> File folder from Tsunami Rose. Um, and that is Nectar's Creations and this charming fragments. Vellum. Charming Fragments 2. The Innkeeper Journals. That's from Charming Fragments 2. And I've made a tag. I just put it onto some um Edith Holden paper, and that's Cameo Shop. Beat dyeing 
For my beet dyeing, I use powdered beetroot, and I get mine from Clancy's Vegan and Vegetarian Emporium in Cardiff Indoor Market, for anyone who's living near me, which a couple of you are, I was surprised to find. Um, Dragonfly Dreams by Artie Mays. A book page collage with gesso over it, and I die cut this comb. I was going to do the hand mirror as well, but it's... It was just going on and on forever. These napkins were gifted to me by Donna. And I've used sponge sugar distress glitter on that. And I was inspired by Laurie Fusco. These pockets I cut from Rose Azure. That's from Nectar's Creations. Tsunami Rose. This is a Cheryl pocket. With a Cameo Shop library card and... This is the Innkeeper Journals again, sweetly scrapped. Some chalk embossing, chalk embossed stenciling. Another homemade journal card, I love that. Double belly band and the tickets again and Nectar's Creations. I forgot to put that back in the envelope. Right, that was Seneca Pond, <laughs> I think. Calico collage, flowers and lace, with a little pearl cabochon, um, another file folder, and another dreams etc tag, but from um, Timeless Love, that one. Fold out. I didn't do too many fold outs, they're just there for interest really, because she's not going to write in it. Charming Fragment 2, as is this. Some uh, British ephemera. Marion Smith, the pockets are. All the file folders are Tsunami Rose. And Marion Smith is a digi. And as you know, Marion Smith is no defunct and whether she sets up another website I do not know loop trim also from on trend fabrics UK and it's the good stuff it's the satin the expensive loop trim not the cheapy stuff from China um that's from the charming fragments too I was so lucky I've I don't know if you can still get a pre-order on Charming Fragments too, but I those are Avrina Atelier as well. But um, I did, and Daisy let me have it early. I've had it for a couple of months, though, and I couldn't print it. That's Charming Fragments, and that's Rose Azure. That is Life of Bloom, the first Life of Bloom. Vellum, uh, Cameo Shop, again. Stamped ribbon from Oriental Arts. No, Oriental Direct. That that perfume label is Cameo Shop. I shouldn't have to slide it. We should have just... Um, so I've dyed the patterns of the punch outs onto the... Oh, this is the continuation, I think, of the page before. Botanical... Yeah, we're in the same signature. Right. That is from the Innkeeper Journals, and I'd like to thank Sue for put, restocking those in the shop for me, because... They're, they're one of his seasonal digis, so at the moment you can still get them. Um, this is my one of my favourite laces ever. All the bingo cards, I've glossy accented the flowers on. I've done it on a few things. So you've got this lace bow on the corner. The pockets are from the kit. More salt coffee dyeing. And beautiful lace and the floral trim. Um, I die cut that little bag out of artist's tracing paper, you know, the heavier weight, but it's coffee dyed. That's from My Sweet Rose, Artie Mays. You've got a lace butterfly landing on the corner. Did I say that's from the paper basket? I don't know, because I've done a couple of takes. Um, but the, that ledger paper is the paper basket on Etsy, uh, Katie's shop. Right, down the back you've got a Project Life card that I've altered. 
and that's either with the Kaiser Craft papers or I've actually got a, I've actually got a digi of it of the pink quilted. So this is one of Terry Wood's fold out pockets. I won't unfold every corner because I'm trying to get this under 15 minutes, but it might be impossible because the journal's so chunky. Those pockets were inspired by Laurie Fusco as well. I've done a double one further up. You can see this perfume of ephemera ribbon threading, which I always do, nearly always. Botanical heavyweight mulberry paper. One of Denise's doilies again. Uh, a die cut pocket with a Sizzix die. A floating library style pocket from Nectar's. I made this from oh, Nectar's Creations. Letters to Rose, that's what I've been trying to think of. Uh, pretty little perfume. I found that one on Pinterest. But when I retrace my steps, I'll gradually add names of people who I've found these digis from. A lace tipping with gathered tulle at the top, and I put floral trim down the centre of the tool. It did have pearls in it, but I ripped them out. Uh, Butterfly Delight, Artie Mays with a different uh, yarn ribbon again. You should definitely check out Broke Mary's if you're into <coughs> eyelash yarns and <coughs> you want to buy them in bulk. If you prefer stuff like that to be by the meter, then I can link you to a few Etsy sellers who do that. I know Denise does a good range. I won't take all these out. It's a slip pocket, the Tim Holtz, and it graduates. There's just, it would, I'm going to have to put all this back as it is. And Holly, who this is for, is having it today. Um, little mini envelope, mini journal card, and I will show you this. The rose gold paper clips, which she loves. And a little silver thimble. Excuse the ink on my fingers. I know they're disgusting. Mini, you know, and it's got the mini card inside it. I'll leave that on the page. All of my charms are Tibetan silver, which, although it hasn't got the sterling British hallmark, because obviously it's Tibetan, um, it is still real silver rather than metal alloys plated. Got to show you this. I love this with all the reds picked out. And there's a squashed origami heart. I really love that, though, that page. And I love this page. Um, move a tiny bit towards me. Just a tiny bit. Right. Um, so you've got this beautiful rose trim. And I'm just going to slightly, right, uh, oh, that's better. Um, lace pocket, I've gessoed the page and it's got this pretty tissue paper over it. Another one of uh, Sue Olson's innkeeper dress tags. All I want to do is just, like, that's it. Sorry, everyone, because as you all know, it was cutting the top off the page. Um, <clears throat> beautiful papers, those are. Those are all tsunami rows. Nearly everything in here is this time. Die cut reliefs. A library pocket from J9 Scraps that I've altered. And I decoupaged the library card with this, I think, gorgeous napkin. And... Then you've got, with the cameo, this is one of Tracy Fox's. These are not in her shop at the moment, but she will be um, restocking them. And one of the reasons I'm desperately trying to get all these videos out here, out of the way, is because, and I know I said the other day, I'm on the design team now for Tracy Fox, and I've got a couple of big things coming up for that. Love this loop trim here. Um, and I'm also, I've also got an upcoming design team project for the old design shop. And I want to be able to dedicate all of my time 
to those projects and not having have any, uh, anything else hanging over my head. I made that out of a big perfume label um, from one of Daisy's ephemera packs. That botanical mulberry paper. Ribbon thread. And it's only now that I realise I can get uh, fatter ribbon through the page with the Martha Stewart than I thought. I've just done a big collage. Those green shield stamps, vintage, are from um, the Fruit Pixie on Etsy. She's got a brilliant shop. And I mean, it is brilliant. She does all sorts of different things on there for junk journals. And she's in the UK. Love this bridal lace. It's a favourite. And there's also a feather there as well as the nest. Fruit tea I used on these pages, cranberry and blood orange, butterfly uh, mini bow flag yarn. This is antique onion skin typewriter paper from the paper basket. And I've dyed the Rococo mirror and comb onto the page with coffee. That's just in a glassine bag. The backs of all the glassine bags are open. That is the month of Holly's birthday, the person who's having this journal, by the way so that she can tuck things behind them. Um, this page was inspired by Laurie Fusco, whose work I absolutely love. I really love Laurie's stuff. Um, I've made this little pocket, I've done a few of them, and I, I use one of her tutorials, really pretty eyelash yarn, a soft, like a dishcloth eyelash. Then the butterfly is from Cottage Rose Studios. Um, and I was inspired by Paula Lemon to add the diamantes and I've glossy accented the roses. This is handmade lace paper and cotton and silk angel hair paper with metallic threads through it. There's glimmer mists on the doilies and I've dyed these patterns onto the page and the die cut relief. Um, and then you've got Graphics Fairy, different stamped ribbon, this beautiful little girl, and that's a different pattern to the other die cut pocket like that. Another page that I love. I got that corset image from the Chicago Library online. The Uni Chicago University Library, cards are from the Graphics Fairy, Dreams, etc., Tsunami Rose. Trims, that one's from Denise's shop, and the one on the top is from On Trend Fabrics. There's, it's a double belly band, Arena Tillier perfume label. A library style pocket made out of an envelope. Um, the papers I've put on it are from the Sweet Paris Pack by Dovecraft. These were a freebie from, it's a Spanish digital site. It does fold out, but I won't unfold it on camera because I'm worrying about the time. Tuck spot with the broderie anglaise, I won't pull it out. I've made this envelope out of a doily from either from Denise's shop or because I've now sourced someone in the UK who does them. They might be from the new batch I bought because I, I put them all together. So I don't know. And it's like a bug crawling on my back. Um, fabric hearts with a garment pin and a charm in the shape of a dimensional dress with some yarn, fancy yarn, and I was inspired by Donna Jameson for the fabric hearts and the garment pin. Now this is a Laurie Fusco pocket, and we're nearly towards, we're nearly at the end. Did some spool tabs. One of them I did out of a let, an off cut of one of the charming fragments pages, and the other one I did um, with Edith Holden paper. 
love that, did you? Um, the paper bags were from the Everyday Journal on Etsy. Um, the Daiso bags, and I know that you would get them for better prices and shipping elsewhere if you shopped about. Um, and I've decoupaged that glassine bag. It's coat hanger charm. The corset tag, I don't want to get it wrong where I got it from. I think that's Christie Art Design. Um, but the corset tag, ugh, I think it was Bumble Button Craft, but I'm not sure. Little girl that I decoupaged on, and it goes with the Digi of Tracy's. I die cut this bird cage out of um, the 1940s German play that I'm always using in my journals. Uh, more napkins, and behind it, there's the shadow layer of the napkin with the birds as well, but it probably won't pick it up. And it was Paula Lemon that inspired me to use those. Um, quite a few things in here I was inspired by Paula Lemon. Um, Laurie Fusco and Patricia Viramontes, as well as um, Klimmy. And these, with decorating them up, I forgot to leave the backs open of these to put tags behind them. But um, Patricia Viramontes was a big inspiration for me decorating them up like that. Um, the Gallery Cat on Etsy, and I just, that's my favourite out of that. So that was from um, Janine, J9 Scraps. She doesn't sell it in the shop though. Um, CD sleeve it's sorry slightly embossed with butterflies but you can't see it that reinforces it and it's you can tuck things down the side beautiful ribbon holder from Wings of Whimsy finally Tsunami Rose and oh, and it's got I love that perfume ad stunning this is the last page, which is so pretty, the colours. And you can see that lovely quilted paper. Finally, those eyelets are real vintage eyelets from the 50s. Okay, everyone, it's done. Um, Holly, I hope you love your journal. Thank you, everyone. And I've got more videos to come up. Uh, just bear with me because of the technical problems. Bye.